the year has almost come to an end. But it was a good year, wasn't it? New shiny tablets, fancy phones, social networks going big. We had a lot going on this year. So today, let's just sit back and relax and get you geeked out for the last time this year with the best gadgets of 2011. Welcome to Technoholic, where we get you addicted to technology. Here's our life. On the show this week, they came, they saw, they conquered. We take a look at all the tablets in the year 2011. Did this year make the shutterbugs happy? We take a look at some cameras. And finally, yes, there were tablets in the market, but what happened to the laptops? We check out all the laptop action of the year gone by. Alright, so let's get our 2011 gadgets out of the way so that we can make way for the 2012 gadget awesomeness. Now yes, it was a great year in technology but mobile phones is a single space where we saw innovation almost every single day. So today we've divided them into three categories and the first one we're taking a look at are high-end smartphones. I'm an Apple fan girl, so yes, an iPhone will feature in my list but what do the people think? Siddharth Sharma took to the streets to find out just that and ends up with our top five. Thanks, Radhika. Well, yes, year 2011 was full of great smartphone launches. And people these days change their smartphones as they change their clothes. So we went out on the streets and asked them what, according to them, were the best smartphones that launched in the year 2011. And this is what they had to say about it. Well, the best smartphone launched in 2011, according to me, is the iPhone 4S. A bit expensive, but good for the money. I think it's Galaxy S2. The Nokia Lumia 800. I guess it was iPhone 4S. I think the best smartphone to be released in 2011 was Samsung Galaxy S2. It's HTC sensation. It is the best. Blackberry Bold uh, 9900. I feel uh, iPhone 4S was the best phone for the year 2011. Blackberry Bold 9900. The best smartphone according to me is iPhone 4S. Now we saw loads of Blackberries enter into the market. We even saw the dual-core processor race, in which manufacturers like even Micromax got their dual-core part phones. And obviously, by the end of the year, we saw Windows 7 Mango update. So we compiled all of that, and here's our top smartphone list of the year 2011. Let's check it out. Smartphones have become devices of necessity now than gadgets of luxury. And the year 2011 proved that. So the first phone on our list is the BlackBerry Bold 9900, aka Bold 4. Bold 4 was a slim BlackBerry offering a first of its kind. It featured a 1.2 GHz processor, a touch and type form factor and the latest BlackBerry OS 7. All bundled up at a price tag of Rs 32,000. And now it's available in a white colour as well. Nokia Lumia 800 comes next. This was the much-awaited Windows Phone 7 from the house of Nokia. Nokia Lumia 800 sports a 3.7-inch AMOLED capacitive touchscreen up front. The phone is powered by a 1.4 GHz Snapdragon processor and has 16 GB of internal storage. Prices are not out yet but are expected to be in the range of Rs 30,000 to Rs 35,000. Third on our list is the Samsung Galaxy S2. Samsung Galaxy S2 features in our list purely because it took on a good fight to the iPhone 4. Samsung Galaxy S2 has a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED Plus display up front. The phone is powered with Android 2.3 gingerbread operating system and Samsung's own dual core 1 GHz ARM Cortex A9 processor. The pricing is also very competitive as now you can get your hands on one for just Rs 28,000. Fourth comes a sensational phone from HTC. It's called the HTC Sensation. The HTC Sensation is a 3G device which runs on Android 2.3 gingerbread operating system and is powered by a dual-core 1.2 GHz processor. It sports a 4.3-inch Super LCD capacitive touchscreen display and has an 8-megapixel camera. The Sensation is priced at Rs 30,000. Last super phone on our list is the new iPhone 4S. Now available in India, Apple retained the original design of the iPhone but pumped in a dual-core A5 processor and introduced a revolutionary voice recognition based artificial intelligence wife, called Siri. Also additional features of the iOS 5 integration having a notification bar finally. 
The old camera has been upgraded to an 8 megapixel camera that is capable of doing 1080p HD video recording. It's an expensive super phone to buy at Rs 45,000. The people have spoken which means it's time to move on to our next category of phones. These are mid-range phones which go all the way up to 20,000 rupees. Now this space and Android pretty much in it just because it hit the right price note with its users. So take a look at our list of top 5 mid-range phones from the year 2011. After the super phones, it's time for the mid-range smartphones. Top of our list are the two Blackberries. BlackBerry Curve 9360 offers the smartphone technology by the virtue of its 800 MHz processor, which is aided by BlackBerry's operating system version 7.0, all of which is complemented by an excellent imagery slimness and customary QWERTY keyboard. You can get the phone for Rs 20,000. Second curve on our list is the 9380. The phone reminds you of the BlackBerry Storm as it's got a 3.2 inch touchscreen display up front and a virtual QWERTY keypad. The device also runs on the new BlackBerry OS 7 and is powered by an 800 MHz processor. At the back, the phone features a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash and is priced at Rs 21,000. Next comes the LG Optimus Black. The LG Optimus Black has the specs to be called the thinnest and the brightest smartphone. It has a 4-inch Nova display which is set to offer 700 nits of brightness. The device runs on Android 2.2 powered by a 1 GHz Cortex-A8 processor and LG Optimus Black is priced at Rs 20,000. Fourth phone on our list is the Samsung Omnia W. It's a Windows 7 Mango updated smartphone from Samsung. It has a 3.7 inch Super AMOLED display and is powered by a 1.4 GHz processor. This Smart Buy Windows phone is available at a price tag of Rs 20,000. Next phone on our list is also from Samsung and it's the latest Wave 3. Powered by Samsung's own Bada OS and boasting of a sturdy design and a good quality camera, this phone is available at a price tag of Rs 20,000. Last phone on our list is the good old iPhone 3GS. Now having an upgradable option of the iOS 5, it's the best mid-range smartphone experience money can buy. And you can get your hands on one for a throwaway price of just Rs 18,000. Alright, I hope we've made you at least think of spending 20,000 rupees on your phone now. But if you're thinking of going any lower, that was a phenomenon too in 2011. With operators launching 5,000 rupee Android phones, let's just say there was enough to go around. But did the people like anything that was offered in the cheap phone space? So that Sharma went out to find that answer and ends up with our top list. Well, yes, Radhika, definitely this year we saw high-end technology rolled out at very affordable prices. And we asked people what do they think about the affordability of the modern smartphone. And here's what they said about it. I think according to me, the best low-end smartphone is Samsung Galaxy Y. The best phone I found it is Samsung Galaxy Y. Uh, Samsung Galaxy Y. I think the best low-end uh, Android phone to be launched in 2011 would be Samsung Galaxy Y. This is our list of the top low-end smartphones that took the market by storm in the year 2011. Low-end phones these days can do a lot more than just surfing the internet and an example of that is the Samsung Galaxy Y. The Samsung Galaxy Y is a perfect device to introduce new users to the world of smartphone experiences. With a stylish metallic hairline body and a large 3.2 inch HVGA screen and price of just Rs 7000, it even makes a mid-end smartphone shiver when it comes to competition. Now if you want something even more economical, Micromax gives you its Andro A60. The A60 runs on Android 2.1, supports 3G connectivity and at the back features a 3.2 megapixel camera. Andro is priced at Rs 6000. Next contender in the low range Android phones is the Samsung Galaxy 5. The Galaxy 5 is loaded with Android 2.1 OS and features a 2.8 inch display up front. At the back, it has a 2 megapixel camera and is priced at Rs 8,500. 
Fourth is the Huawei IDOS U8150. This phone runs on Android 2.2, features a 2.8-inch touchscreen up front and a 3.2-megapixel camera at the back. Huawei IDOS U8150 is priced at Rs. 8,500. Last on our list is the Lava S12. It runs on Android 2.2 Froyo and is powered by an 800 MHz processor. The phone offers a decent touch experience and is priced at Rs. 8,000. Time for our very first break on the show, but this look back is not done yet. On the other side, we check out all the tablet action of the year 2011. Stay tuned to Technoholic.